Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Daily Eastern News Sports Roundtable with the Intramural Basketball Sunday Selection Showdown for the first week of basketball action. Uh, over this first week of playoffs made up of six women's brackets and one men's brackets uh, ranging from 8 to 11 teams, uh, dozens of games will be going on from 5 p.m. to midnight in the rec center for the next few weeks. Um, first off, we're going to start with the women's bracket with each of our panelists making their week one picks. Uh, we are starting with the women's playoff bracket, which we are referring to as the Peyton bracket. In the Peyton bracket this week, starting Tuesday, we have nine seed Delta 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 playing eight seed Alpha Phi, the winner of which will play number one seed DZ What, uh, number five seed Sigma Kappa playing four seed Alpha Gam, Three seed TNT playing Duncan Ducks, and seven seed Lady Hoop Squad playing two seed Unstoppable Force. All right, well, here's my take on the bracket TNT is better than Dynamite, and the Unstoppable Force, they're going to be stopped in the first round by Lady Hoop Squad. I think they got some talent there. I like TNT as well. They're a power load, and we're all going to watch them explode in this tournament. I hate TNT. Unlike both of you guys, because Alpha Gam is a lot better. All right, well, that was less than 30 seconds, <laughs> but we're going to move on to our next bracket, which we are referring to as the Perry bracket. This is the Men's Hall A, uh, starting on Monday with 9 seed Phi Slamma Jamma versus 8 seed Johnsonville Jaguars, um, 11 seed Cloud Nine Jam Boys versus 6 seed. Taking Talent to 6th Street, 7-seed uh, D-Rose MVP versus 10-seed Rhymes with Punt. Well, gee, this is a fantastically stacked bracket, um, yeah. but I got to give it to the Rec Boys. I mean, they're a solid team led by Captain Rob Wilburn. I disagree. Sigma Fly is going to roll through this tournament. Nobody can touch them. Dude, Fi Slam or Jamma can dunk better than anybody else, and they throw oops like it's no one's business. They're going to roll. I'm and not sure they throw oops. <laughs> but Cinderella story. Risky, risky business could surprise a few teams. Five uh, seconds. I have risky business in the finals, so I agree with that. All right. Moving on to our next bracket. We have the Jimmy John's bracket of Men's Hall A. Starting on... Monday with mm, nine seed EIU Legends versus eight seed Flying High, seven seed Pick and Roll Another One versus ten seed Get Up or Get Out. All right, and the clock starts now. Well, Get Up or Get Out, I mean, frankly, shouldn't even be in this tournament. They're awful. Um, <laughs> but I like Loud. I, they're, they're a solid team. I think they can take this one. I really think there's no question about it. Flocka is the team to beat in Jimmy John's bracket. They go hard in the paint. <laughs> I'm sorry, Flocka, but the Vanilla Gorillas will upset them in the first round. Yeah, I, I, I went with the Vanilla Gorillas to win, win, the, uh, win the championship here. And, you know, speaking of loud, I don't like them because I don't like things that are loud. Well, and that's time. Whoa. <laughs> Moving on to our next bracket, we have Romo, which is Men's Hall B. Starting on Monday with 9 seed Prestige Worldwide versus 8 seed Cunning Stunts. Uh, moving on to the quarterfinals Tuesday with um, one of those two will be playing 1 seed BMS Goats. Uh, the next 5 seed Brick Layers versus Premature Shooters. 3 seed Toaster versus uh, 6 seed Team Gonads. Uh, 7 seed Drew's Hot Sister. Versus two seed Thirsty Bandits. I really, uh, I really like Thirsty Bandits of this group, mostly because I really like a good bandit, and secondly because I'm thirsty right now. But if Toaster can bring out the brave little Toaster, they have a chance. <laughs> it's all about prestige worldwide. They're gonna shock the world, come from behind, win the tournament. Drew's hot sister isn't that hot. <laughs> I do enjoy my Toaster, and I do enjoy my piece of French toast. They're going to go all the way, and they're going to beat out the premature shooters in the end. And Prestige Worldwide will lose. The <laughs> no, they won't. <laughs> Time. All right, next bracket, moving on to, we have the Galligan bracket of Men's Hall B, starting Tuesday with number one seed Kevin Bacon versus eight seed Sharpshooters, five seed Rectum versus two, four seed 2W for Flight, 
Three seed ATG versus six seed Wonder Bread, and seven seed Doesn't Matter versus two feed Revolution. Time starts now. I just want to inform everybody out there that it is not a team Kevin Bacon. He will actually be participating by himself in the intramurals here, and he will win this hands down. That is exactly why I'm picking Kevin Bacon to go all the way. I'm not picking Kevin Bacon because I don't think he's that good of an actor, and I think he's going to get wrecked by rectum. Have you seen Footloose? Yeah, he's not going to get wrecked <laughs> if he gets loose, I'm telling you. I disagree. Rectum is garbage. No, rectum, they're a good team, but they're, they're not going to beat Rev Revo. Revolution. Two words. Doesn't matter. And time. All right, we're finishing up with the Hall team's brackets and moving into the fraternity brackets, starting with bracket one. Uh, Monday, nine seed SAE Gold will be playing Sig F Jam. Um, and then Tuesday, one of those will be playing number one seed Lambda Chai Green. Uh, also playing on Monday, we have five seed Sigma Pi Black versus Pike Garnet. Uh, three seed ATO versus six seed Delts Gold, and seven seed Sigma Chi White versus two seed Sigma Pi White. Well, I think this bracket is fairly easy to decide. Uh, Lamba Chai Green, I mean, do I need to say more? You do need to say more because I don't agree with that at all. They're going to get upset in the first in the quarterfinals by Sig F Jam, but Sig Pi Black is going to face Sig Pi White in the finals with Sig Pi White winning it all. It's going to force that fraternity to explode. I'm taking ATO. I watched them play dodgeball last semester. If they can throw balls at each other, they can definitely put them in the hoop. That's definitely not true. And <laughs> time. And our last bracket that we have going up is the Duckworth bracket, fraternity bracket two. Starting on Monday with number one seed Sigma Nu Gold playing number eight seed Chops Gold. Uh, moving on to number five seed SAE Eastern versus number four seed Pike Gold. Uh, next game is three no, three seed Delta Chai versus six seed Sigma Chai Gold and ending out with seven seed Sigma Chai Old Gold versus two seed Sigma Pi Purple. So many colors. All right well I don't know much about Sigma Pi or Sigma Chai Old Gold but the old I mean the veteran experience I mean they got to be good so I like them. I also like pork chops and so I like Chops gold to go all the way. Sigma new gold, they're good as gold. They're number one for a reason. I'm taking them. Uh, pike gold. Pork chops, man. <laughs> pork chops. If you don't like pork chops, get out of here. Uh, and that was this week's edition of Intramural Basketball Sunday Selection Showdown. Literally. Be sure to check back next week for uh, our recap on the semifinals, finals, and championships. Uh, until then, head to the rec, 5 p.m. to midnight, Monday to Thursdays, to see the games. <laughs> Literally have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna check